Hey everybody, Techie101 here. It's another NAMI video! Yay! Oh shit! <laughs> Alright, and I, uh, I guess it was her hair that did this, because it's kind of spiky, but that actually cut my hand a little bit when I did that, so... Damn, NAMI, you don't go down without a fight! Okay, so, um, this video is gonna be about NAMI's big power-up, her, her latest enhancement, as it were. Uh, clever third entendre, you're not even listening to me, here's more boobs. Okay, so in the most recent arc of Totland, you have Big Mom, who has the power of the Soul Soul No Me, which allows her to create the homies. Now, the vast majority of the homies that we see in Totland are not actually created with Big Mom's own soul. What she does is she basically takes the soul from uh, all the, the citizens of Totland as rent, essentially. So I think it's like twice a year um, they're offered like a choice between leave or life, you know, to leave Totland or to stay. But if they stay, they have to offer up, I think it's one month of their soul, um, you know, taking off their lifespan. And they, they use that soul power to animate everything in Totland, all the homies. So all the flowers and the trees, the animals, um, inanimate objects like barrels and benches and houses, anything could be made into a homie, uh, except for like, I think the corpses of human beings, because that's more of the Kage Kage no Mi's territory there. So you can't really mess with that very much. But when it comes to anything else, uh, even things that don't have like a tangible form, like uh, like fire, can be turned into a homie. But the exception to that rule with the homies are the three personal homies of Big Mom. Zeus the Thunderhead, Prometheus the Fireball, and Napoleon the Bicorn Hat. Now you might think Napoleon out of those three is the weakest one, because it's like, that's such a weird thing, you know? It's like, um, Prometheus, the power of fire and brimstone! Zeus, the power to smite enemies with a lightning bolt! And then Napoleon, who's, who's just a hat. That hat is badass, though. That hat can turn into a giant flaming longsword, so do not diss on that hat. Napoleon will mess you up. Um, but these homies are unique because they were created with Big Mom's own personal soul, which means a few things. For one thing, they're a lot stronger than every other homie, ready for battle, and that means also they take on a little bit of, uh, Big Mom's personality and her traits and things like that. So they're rather gluttonous and, and about the same education level as Big Mom as well. Um, and they're much more subservient to her. Well, you would think they would be subservient to her because they are her own personal homies ripped from her own soul. But I think a major issue with with that is because Big Mom is so gluttonous, because she ripped out her soul and animated a fireball and a cloud and a hat, those things also become uh, equally gluttonous. So in the case of Zeus, the Thunderhead, and yes, I made a little miniature Zeus, I couldn't find a little, little hat for him, but here you go. I'm not a master freaking artist or craftsman or whatever, but I did the best I could do. Um, but Zeus, in this case, uh, could actually be distracted by Nami when she used her climb attack and her little weather ball things. She created a bunch of these little yummy black electric, uh, electrified uh, clouds, and Zeus, you know, because he's gluttonous and because he's a cloud, he found them very tasty. So he, ac she actually managed to lead away Zeus from Big Mom's side for a time there, and even uh, using his own power to deal a devastating blow to her. It didn't cause any damage, and you can either say that's because Big Mom is so tough anyway, or because it's it's her own homie, it's her own soul, that it wouldn't be able to damage her at all. But uh, it was still an impressive feat there. Now, a lot of people got pissed off by this, and I can understand where you're coming from. Nami has never been one of the strongest members of the crew, and all of a sudden, the person that's getting damage out on Big Mom, even though it wasn't really damage, Big Mom didn't actually get hurt by this, but the one that's seemingly getting a lot of damage on Big Mom, it's, it's not Luffy, it's not Sanji, it's not even Brooke. It's, it's Nami. Nami, out of all of the Straw Hats, the one that you would view as the weakest, and she totally is, by the way. Like, that's not even, like, debatable, really, like, in terms of, like, just overall strength, stamina, endurance, defense. Yeah, Nami is definitely the weakest. And, and you know what? I'm just gonna go through that right now just to kind of settle it down because I feel like maybe some of these, like, okay, listen. I'm, I'm not talking about strictly combat strength. Because Nami, using her climb attack, she could deal some pretty devastating damage on some opponents, and, and some wide-scale ruin as well, and she's very clever, very quick-witted, very intelligent, so she can use that weapon to her, um, to, to her advantage in most situations. What I'm talking about here is overall, like, combat experience and strength and, 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 and defense is really the thing that we have to talk about here. All the other Straw Hats, or at least most of the other Straw Hats, either have hockey 
or a Devil Fruit ability to help them out in combat. Like, when we're talking about the Monster Trio, when we're talking about Luffy and Sanji and Zoro, um, they all know hockey. They're really tough. You know, even before they knew hockey, they were training their bodies, okay? So they can take some pretty extensive damage. We saw each one of these guys, Zoro, Luffy, and Sanji, take some pretty hefty damage at some point in the series, and they were able to still walk around after that. Um, then you have Chopper and Brook and Robin, who all have, they don't have hockey, but they have Devil Fruit capabilities, right? So, uh, even though Robin is, I, I would say Robin is stronger than Nami, just in the sense of, you know, she's had more combat experience and stuff, and using her Devil Fruit, um, she's been able to take a little bit more damage, like when she was fighting against, uh, uh, the, uh, zombie that had Sanji's shadow, that, that dog penguin thing on Thriller Bark, she, she got kicked by that thing a few times, she, she was still able to get back up, um, even during Dressrosa, when, uh, she was protecting Rebecca from Diamante's, like, spiked iron ball rain. Her back got hit by those things. It was bleeding pretty bad. She kind of got... Her, her back got scratched up pretty fierce there, and she was still able to be like, all right, go to your dad. Mm, we're good. So uh, she has a little bit more endurance there. Chopper, in his heavy point, in his monster point, definitely pretty tough. And uh, Brooke is kind of immune to a lot of things that would normally hurt a human because of him being a skeleton. You know, ho, ho, ho. Um, things like electricity. He doesn't have any skin to be singed off. He doesn't have a nervous system to get thrown out of whack by getting electrocuted. Um, he did the same thing with uh, burning. He doesn't have to worry about his skin getting burned off. So he's somewhat, no, he's not invulnerable to those things. I'm sure if you make a hot enough flame, you could damage Brooke. Um, but it's just a lot of things that he, that would normally hurt somebody don't hurt Brooke because he doesn't have skin. He doesn't have any internal organs or a nervous system, he doesn't have a brain, if he only had a brain, yo -hoo -hoo. Um, and that's the case there. The only Straw Hats that do not have a Devil Fruit or Hockey to help them out are Nami and Frankie. However, there's a big difference because whereas Frankie does not have a Devil Fruit or Hockey, yet, he does have a badass cyborg body, he's decked out head to toe, uh, with weapons, and he's a very tanky kind of guy, uh, he can take some serious hits with his iron body, uh, and then weapons from literally head to, and, and probably even his, yeah, I, I think Frankie kind of modified his, his Johnson, you know, like if he's ever up against the freaking wall someday, just like, okay, d finishing move, this is my last trump card, super, and it's just, wait, what the hell, and it's just like a laser beam that shoots out, you know Frankie would definitely do that, okay, but my point is on this little tirade, this little side rant, is that out of all of the straw hats, Nami gets one solid hit from like a hockey fist, just, uh, she's going down. All right, she, she doesn't have the endurance to really tank that. Okay, um, in her fight with Miss Doublefinger, she got spiked uh, through a few times, like through her ankle and a shoulder, I think. She also messed up her foot. Through the rest of that battle, I think Zoro had to carry her around. She couldn't even walk. Um, and, and you might say, you might say Usopp. Well, isn't Usopp kind of frail too? Oh no, Usopp took way more of a beating in that battle. Usopp got hit by a giant bat that was like, uh, it was apparently like a four-ton bat. But even if you don't want to say it's four tons, he still got hit by that thing, I think twice. Broke a lot of bones in his body, like a full body. Body cast and he was still he was still all right at the end of it okay um and, and and Usopp now has observation hockey which could help him out in combat quite a bit so my point is yeah Nami she has decent attack strength but when it comes to just physical defense, she's, she's shit. Some people have brought up, you know, could Nami take on Arlong right now? Arlong, of course, being the fishman that killed her mother and was the main enemy of the Arlong Park arc. That was the enemy that Luffy had to take out. Well, now, after the time skip and everything, after Nami's upgraded her climb attack a few times, could she take down Arlong? And the way I view that is this. If it was like a surprise attack on Arlong, Nami takes out her new freaking, you know, dildo climb attack, whatever you want to call it, and just, boom, just brings down Divine Judgment on Arlong. Arlong just again and again. I think she could possibly beat him that way. However, if it's not like a surprise attack, if Arlong sees her coming and he gets one hit out on Nami, if he bites into the side of her with his teeth or her arm or her leg or anywhere, he breaks out that giant sword, hits her a single time. She's going to fall right on her bouncy ass. She's going down. All right. She doesn't really have any way to protect herself from that. If she learns armament hockey someday, maybe. Okay, fine. But so far, it's not that. 
Now, with that all being said, Nami basically meets the textbook definition of a glass cannon. She's got attack power, but in terms of defense, she's shit. If she takes one major hit, and I'm, only, I'm saying major hit, I'm not saying, like, you know, just one little punch will be able to take her down. She takes one solid hockey blow or, uh, you know, any major devil fruit attack, she's going down right so during this last arc though when her and brooke did that little combo attack when big mom was riding on zeus and then brooke used uh his sword to cut zeus in half and then nami used her climb attack to bring down divine judgment on big mom it, it didn't damage her it didn't you know really hurt her all that much but what it did do is it did weaken zeus considerably it discharged all this electricity from zeus Zeus shrank down into this adorable little chibi, a uh, little mascot, basically, and Brooke grabbed him and gave him over to Nami, and Brooke's like, yeah, he doesn't, he, he says he can't go wild anymore, he ran out of power, and, and Zeus begins to cry when looking at Nami, and, 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 and Nami's just like, oh, Zeus, Chan, well, you know, I didn't say we were gonna be friends, more like you're going to be my slave and I won't kill you, K, and then Zeus is just kind of crying, like, Oh god, is this gonna be my life from now on? Being Nami's slave? Well, I don't know, some people. Let's have a vote, let's vote, let's vote on it. Would you like to be Nami's slave, yes or no? I don't even need to look at the results to know the results, do I? Yeah, okay. So, now that Nami has the power of Zeus, one of Big Mom's personal homies, at her disposal, that really doesn't do much to change the way she fights. She's still kind of a glass cannon. It doesn't boost her defense too much, it just gives her another attack bonus. Okay? So, I, I really don't have a problem with that. I know some people were like, oh, well, you know, now Nami, of all people, has uh, this homie, this, this, this um, extension of a Yonko's power for her to uh, launch her lightning attacks with, you know, which are her most strongest attacks. I mean, she, has, she doesn't really break out. I mean, she has to use the, the cool balls and the heat balls and, like, combination to make the electricity, you know, and the clouds and everything, but her main attack power comes from, you know, bringing down electrical, you know, strikes on down on people. So, um, yeah. Zeus is just going to augment that, and I could see a lot of clever ways. It would actually be really funny to see Zeus and Nami's interactions in Wano, because think of all the fun, that the little dynamic that they could have, you know, like master and servant kind of, not, not, that, not that kind of master servant, I'm talking more of like BDSM kind of deal, you know, where, where Nami is the dominatrix in this situation, like, Zeus, you better do it or else, and she's like, okay, mistress, I'll, I'll, I'll bring down divine judgment, and then and Zeus, you know, you know, calls down a lightning strike or something. Now, when Nami got uh, Zeus after the the whole you know situation with Brooke after you know they they discharged and cut him in half and all that stuff, he looked rather weak. So is he gonna regain his power over time? I'm curious about that because you figure if he gets strong enough, he would just leave. He would figure out some opportunity to just to leave and go back to Big Mom. So I'm thinking that while he is separated from Big Mom, um, a, a certain distance away, he won't be able to recharge. He won't be able to be as much of a threat as he was in the hands of Big Mom. So just get that idea right out of your head. It's not like, you know, Nami's going to be able to do all the crazy stuff that Big Mom was able to do with Zeus. In fact, Zeus might very well stay in this adorable little chibi form. It would work great for merchandising anyway. Um, but hey, maybe she could still ride on him you know that sounded wrong but you know, you know nami is pretty thin you know and zeus is you know she could you know, jump on him as a platform and fly around nami could fly around on zeus and so that would be a neat little extra boost to her um i really feel like the only way you're making nami a little bit too op is if you give her like some massive defense boost because then she has all of her crazy electrical powers and she's also like physically tough as well i think that might be getting a little bit op but right now you know oda is still putting all of his uh, jelly beans in one basket, so to speak, you know? So on top of that, uh, you could also use Zeus as, like, an extension, like, to remotely activate Nami's abilities. Like, for instance, let's say there's a group of enemies over there and Nami doesn't want to walk right into the, you know, group to launch an attack or something. She could send Zeus, like, Zeus, go float overhead all those enemies. Like, okay, fine. And he floats away. And then, you know, just above a bunch of people. And then Nami could maybe use him as, like, a chain reaction with her climb attack. Like, the climb attack connects to Zeus and then Zeus is just like, ah! 
and then he brings down like that. So there's a lot of clever ways you could figure this out uh, on how to use Zeus to your advantage, a mobile thunderhead there. Uh, and maybe it could be a thing that whenever Nami uses Zeus, maybe he does get a little bit bigger and a little bit stronger. And maybe that might be something they have to be aware of because if Zeus gets too much of his power back, he's still a homie that's subservient to Big Mom. If Nami still had Lola's Vivera card, it might, Underline might do something, but probably not because um, a fragment of Big Mom's soul might work well for other homies, but I don't know if it would work too well for Big Mom's own personal homies that are ripped from her very own soul, you know? Uh, because the, the fragment that Big Mom ripped out to make Zeus is probably a lot bigger than the fragments used to make the Vivera cards, you know? So even if Nami still had it. And uh, I'm pretty sure she doesn't have the Vivera card anyway. I'm pretty sure she didn't get it back. Uh, Amande kind of like ripped her shirt open and took it out back, you know, in Totland. I don't think she ever got that back, but yeah. Um, and, and for right now, Zeus is pretty much just listening to everybody because he's in a weakened state, and Brooke has the powers of the Yomi Yomi Nomi, which can also affect souls. So if Brooke really wanted to while Zeus is in this weakened state, Brooke could probably soul charge up his sword and just dice Zeus into a bunch of different fragments and probably just eventually eliminate him because uh, he's very weak right now. Brooke could probably kill Zeus if he really really wanted to. Uh, and then you have Nami, who's providing him with the little black balls. I'm like, hey, Zeus-chan, if you listen to me, I'll give you all the black balls you want. Yummy, yummy. And he's like, okay. <laughs> you know? So he's more of like a scared little pet right now, and more than anything. But um, he's cute, and I could see that, you know, him and the dynamic between Nami and, and Zeus being interesting during Wano, and extending all of her different abilities and giving her, you know, greater attack power. Um, but I don't think it's going to be something that's going to last. I think at some point, Big Mom is going to arrive and going to have another confrontation with the Straw Hats, and at that point, Zeus might leave Nami's side and go back to Big Mom. Um, and at that point, I could actually see a lot of other issues going down because if Zeus is hanging out with the Straw Hats for a little while, then he would be privy to all this information. You know, the enemy is kind of sleeping next to you. Um, now I'm having an image of Nami using Zeus as a pillow at night. <laughs> She's like, be my pillow. Okay. I'm gonna get out of here someday, man. I'm gonna get the frick out of here. I'm gonna get back to Big Mom. He's gonna know everything. You know, so there's a moment where, you know, Zeus just leaves Nami's side, like, where did you go? And then, you know, gets back to Big Mom, he could tell Big Mom's like, oh, Mama, it was horrible, they made me do horrible things, but they fed me these really adorable, these really tasty black balls, those were kind of nice, but still all these horrible things, she used me as a pillow, for God's sakes. She rode on me, not in that way, more of the way you ride on me, no, not in that way, but you know what I mean, yeah. Um, so there's a lot of cool things you could do w with Zeus, and I, I'm, I'm fine with the boost of power. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's, if it's something now, if, I don't think Oda would go, like, crazy with it, but if he were to, if Oda were to do something to the point where Nami controlling Zeus, she has, like, the powers of, like, Eneru at her disposal, that would be kind of ridiculous, yeah, but I don't think Oda's gonna go that far with it, and even when Nami did fight Eneru with her first version of the climb attack, she still managed to divert his electric attack. So, you know, you can't really be mad whenever, you know, Big Mom was rocking out of the forest with Zeus. And then, you know, using Nami's climb attack, she managed to, um, you know, use the power of Zeus. Like, that's what she always does. She's an expert navigator. She's great at controlling the weather. All Zeus is is a freaking animated cloud, a, a thunder cloud. That's all he is. Using Nami's superior intelligence and her time on weather area and her advanced dildo climb attack, I don't see any reason why she wouldn't be able to mess with Zeus. You don't see her messing with Prometheus, because that's a completely different thing. You don't see her messing with Napoleon, completely different thing. Um, you know, so I, I think it makes perfect sense from Nami's experience and her abilities that she would have been able to mess with Zeus in those circumstances. Uh, and it's not directly attacking a Yonko, it's just attacking one of the Yonko's like, little, little clones there. You know, Zeus and Prometheus are not as strong as Big Mom are. Like, they're just fragments of her soul. They're special homies. They're stronger than normal homies, but they're nowhere near as, like, the level that Big Mom has. Perfect example, Brooke was able to cut one in half and weaken it considerably 
Brooke couldn't even pop Big Mom. Her, her skin was too damn hard. So, yeah, I, don't don't think about it as too much as, like, Nami now has the power of a Yonko at her disposal. It's nothing like that. Uh, but it's a nice little boost. I think it'll make sense for her character. Let me know below on what you think about uh, little Zeus power-up with Nami, uh, the dynamic between the two you'd like to see in future arcs, if this is going to come back to bite them later on, if Zeus ever gets back to Big Mom. Maybe Big Mom will create another Cloud homie, because she could do that. You know, all she has to do is rip out part of her soul thrown into a cloud and like okay you are now um uh, well the, the the roman version of zeus well, you, you are now jupiter and and you i will fly on you jupiter and we're gonna get back zeus someday maybe, maybe it was something like that i don't know let me know in the comments below thanks for watching everybody sorry for knocking you down nami uh yeah you, you, you drew a little bead of blood there nami drew a little bead of blood yeah she's getting op guys she's getting op signing out